Welcome back to Stitching Big Things with Hallie. I'm Hallie. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today is Friday, June 11th, 2021, and this is a channel about cross stitch. If you are a returning viewer, thanks so much for spending a bit of your time with me today. And if you're a new viewer, well, uh, welcome. This is not my normal voice. I did bring a cold home with me from vacation, but it sounds way worse than I actually feel. So I also may uh, take a little drink now and then or have a coughing fit, hopefully that I will uh, snip out. Um, so if it feels a bit choppy, that would be the reason why. Let me start with just a little, uh, tell you a little bit about my vacation. Uh, that's where I was last week and uh, when I didn't film, we had just run over to Destin, Florida and spent a little time over there. We routinely go over to Destin. Um, usually once a year or so we drive over. It's about 10 and 10 hours really uh, without stops. So it's not too terribly bad. Um, <clears throat> now that the kids are bigger. <laughs> it was a lot harder when they were younger, but um, as, now that they're older, it's a lot easier. Um, we rent a house over there. We, you know, enjoy some pool time. We enjoy some beach time. This time they did some uh, deep sea fishing and came back um, with some good haul. Uh, we happened to catch snapper season over there. And so um, anything we catch, they will uh, fillet for us. And uh, we eat some there while we're there. And then we uh, freeze and bring the rest back with us to enjoy during the summer. So we've got quite a bit of uh, fish. They got some big, big guys this year. So, which was fun. Um, they went jet skiing, got kids went jet skiing. They went boogie boarding. We um, played games in the evening, um, swam, um, you know, day and night. Um, we set out some puzzles. And so we generally have one puzzle going somewhere in the house. Um, so that's always fun. I think we got a puzzle and about a puzzle and a half done this year. Um, I did a little bit of reading. I, Actually napped. I'm not a big napper um, and I think I napped almost every day. So um, the one thing I didn't do, I didn't get a lot of stitching done. Yeah, you know, what are you gonna do? Uh, I spend a lot of time with family, so um, that's okay. But I do have a little bit to show you from uh, this last week and from our, our drive there and our drive home, I did get some stitching done. So let's get to it and I'll show you what I got done. <clears throat> this was the first project that I worked on. This is Trimming the Tree, artwork by Randall Spangler, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. I am working right up here in this corner with the red Christmas light. So, and if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I was using this uh, last week um, for a book, or last time I saw you, for the bookshelf challenge uh, in Full Coverage Fanatics. I was using it for one of their um, challenges. And so I finished up, I had just a little bit longer, and I finished up a few hundred stitches. I finished that book, and I started the next June's book, Color of Purple, I think is what I signed to this. So let's talk about uh, the information on this one. This is being stitched on 20 count Easy Grid fabric. It is being stitched one over one, and I'm just using regular DMC colors. So what is different because it's a lot of the same stuff. What's different? There's a lot of additional green up through the top. I'm working, you can see I've got a lot of the additional green in through here. I still have to add that green through the rest down here. So that's where I'll continue working. I finished completely the, um, the light, the bulb and did a lot of the, um, the little cap of the bulb as well as the string. So added in a quite a bit into the string. The other thing that's super fun that you can start to see is we can really now start to see this dragon coming in here. So I am avoiding working on him. I'm trying to get as much of this green done because who doesn't want to work on that? that that's super exciting. So I'm trying to save him um, and then 
add him as we get closer to the end. So I actually got for this next uh, challenge, probably about 1400 stitches. So not a lot, uh, particularly for me, um, but that's okay. We're gonna just keep chunking away at it. I think I'm at about 8% finished. So I have a long way to go, but there's no rush. So the next project that I worked on, I love this bag. So I just wanted to hold it up and let y'all admire this bag. This uh, is a gorgeous Garen Toten bag. As you guys know, if you're new here, I love Garen Toten bags. They're the only uh, bags I use for my cross stitch. Um, and this one houses a fun um, and, and I think appropriately themed uh, project. This one is Firework Lane. This is um, a project that was created by the Little Stitch Girl. I got this off of Etsy and um, I am stitching this on a 32 count blue that I had in my stash. I'm sure it was one of those, a lot of times I like to get the um, remnants. A lot of times you'll have remnants that are just odd sizes um, from different dyers. And I'm sure that's what this is. Um, it's perfect for what I'm using it for, but it's, it's a bit of an odd size. I won't have anything left over um, when I'm done. So, here is where I am at on Firework Lane. What have I done since the last time you saw it? I have added in all the letters at the bottom. I finished the grass on this side. I put in the color door, decided on that, decided on the trim on the house, got that in. Also the door on uh, this house as well. And I also added in the sparkly fireworks. So I think I added just over a thousand stitches into that. Um, so that is where we're at. Now, if you notice, I am doing a little different order than what is called for on the pattern. I decided the houses will stay the same. I love the shape of the houses. I love the order of the houses. What I wanted different was red, white, and blue. So I am stitching them in uh, each house just in a different color, but the house stays the same. Um, that's why I was kind of waiting to see the door and the trim. I wanted to get a little more in before I made that final decision. So I am loving this. It's a quick and easy stitch. And as we are getting closer to the 4th of July, I am really feeling the pull to get this one finished. Of course, it probably won't be fully finished by uh, 4th of July, but if I could have it stitched, that would be great. Um, what started that was right before we left for vacation, we have, we have a wonderful veteran in our um, town who has kind of adopted um, neighborhoods and uh, streets, particular streets. And um, he puts out every, for all of the patriotic holidays, he comes and he puts flags in your yard, like big flags. Um, and then when whatever season is over, he comes, pulls it and uh, wraps it up, stores it for you. And then he puts it out at the next one. And he had put them out just before Memorial Day, before we left. And I love it because we live on a, on a, uh, just a street, um, but everybody on the street does the flags. And so as you, and it's a fairly well-traveled street. And so as you drive on this street, it is just gorgeous to see these flags, you know, both sides of the streets. There's just flags up and down the street. And, um, it just really um, hits hits home to me. So, um, and I love that it's it's a retired veteran who does it. I know he is being respectful of those flags, and um, it's a great way. He also sends out what he does with the money. Like he replaced his roof last year. I mean, he doesn't have to tell me what he does with my money. I don't care. I'm happy to have the flags up and to support him. 
um, but he does, he reports back to us with what he does with that. And um, so I know that it's going to a good cause. We're helping to take care of him and his family. And um, I appreciate what he's doing for me. So that's what made me, I think when those flags went up, I thought, you know what? I need to pull this out and, and work on this a little bit. So there's that. Um, so that's it. That's up for stitching. Sorry, I told you it was just a little. Uh, 1400 on trimming the tree, about a thousand stitches on uh, Firework Lane. So for me, not an overly great week, but I've been super busy. Um, so that's okay. Let's move on to haul. Haul is this week. Uh, I am a member of the Week Style Works Floss Club of the month. Get it from Fat Quarter Shop. This month is Charm Pink. So I will hold those up so you can see just gorgeous, gorgeous pinks. So. I do two floss clubs of the month. I do this one in classic color works um, and I love them. So that was in the mail when I got home. The other thing that was here is my color and cotton uh, fabric of the month. This one is Driftwood. I do this through Crazy Annie Stitching. She has a Facebook group uh, and I signed up there. So just a gorgeous, gorgeous taupey neutral. Um, it's gorgeous. So, um, for those of you who were with me last year, I did 28 count last year. That's my kind of my go-to is 28 count, but I don't, I don't, I love a good 32. It doesn't bother me at all. That's what the firework lane is on. And I've been definitely enjoyed stitching that one. So this year I decided to add 32 all to change all of my floss clubs to 32. Um, and to give me a little more diversity in my stash. The other floss, or the other fabric uh, club of the month that I do is, one of the others is Mystic Fabrics. Um, and this is her June Imagine is the name of this fabric. And it is gorgeous. Holy cow. Just absolutely beautiful. So I do a fat half. Um, cause you know, you get these fabrics and you're like, I don't want just one or two pieces. I want to be able to have some to be able to do a bigger piece on. So, so that's what I have there. I have one last piece of a uh, haul. Like I said, love me some Garen Toten bags. This is their bag of the month for June. And how cute is this? This is the happiest, most positive, most love filled bag. Um, I just think it is absolutely gorgeous. So inside, you guys know I get the 12 by 18 size. They do do a 12 by 13 size. Um, but uh, for my big projects, 12 by 18 works beautifully. So this is their bag of the month. So love that. So that's pretty much all I have. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about what I have coming up this week. You guys, I'm so excited. My mom and my sister, my niece, and two cousins are coming in today. I'm driving over to Dallas to pick them up later this afternoon, and I'm so excited about that. So I have not seen my mom or my sister. My sister, it's been over two years. My mom, it's probably been since November of 2019. Um, she would come uh, for all the boys' birthdays. That's the last birthday of the of the year. And then she doesn't come during the holidays because she's here in November. Um, and then co and she was, we had, she had tickets for May, but then COVID and the lockdown happened and she wasn't going anywhere. Um, she um, is very healthy, but she's in her eighties and I did, we did not need her here. We did not need her to get sick. So she's very healthy, um, has done great, has gotten fully vaccinated. We're all fully vaccinated here. So she is going to come and uh, visit. So I'm super excited. I have no idea what this next week will bring in terms of stitching. 
is I have an additional five people coming into my house along with the six, sometimes eight with girlfriends that are here, which is wonderful. We're super excited to have everybody here. Um, uh, just, just cannot wait, cannot wait to hug them. You know, it's, I talk to my mom every day, so it's not that we haven't caught up or haven't talked to her. Oh no, I talk to her every day, but there's nothing like, um, giving your mom a hug and, um, sitting in the same room and chatting for hours and catching up and just letting her see my kids. They've all grown so much and changed so much in the last two years that it'll just be good for her to reconnect with everybody. So I'm super excited about that. So next week, no guarantees on my stitching numbers. I am hoping and intend every time we sit down to visit that I'm going to pick up my stitching and, 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 um, so there should be, you know, some, some of that, but who knows? Again, we love to puzzle. We love to game you know, or we might run around, we might do some cooking here, we might do some eating out. So who knows? I have no idea what this next week will bring stitching wise, but I will be back. They are leaving. They arrived today, which is Friday, and they will leave on Wednesday. So <clears throat> I should have uh, no problem getting next week's video up. And I did not forget, you guys, I know, I still need to do, um, uh, I still want to film uh, removing the lines off of Nutcracker Santa. So that may be done next this week after they leave too. So, um, cause I want to get that done cause I want to get it framed. So thank you so much. If you have stuck around this far, thank, thank you again, guys. Um, have a great, great week. Um, and everybody stay safe and keep stitching those big things.